Alright, I'm going to get straight to the point. But first, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be giving you some advice on getting better at JavaScript. Now, you might be asking, Dom, why are you wearing a beanie? Well, the answer is, it's pretty cold. Also, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I've got plenty of web development tutorials and projects on my channel. Okay, so the big question, what does Dom have to say about getting better at JavaScript? What's worked for me in the past? Righto, get ready, I'm gonna tell ya. Point number one, do your projects in vanilla JavaScript. If you're subscribed to my channel, you know that most of my JavaScript projects are done using vanilla JavaScript. No frameworks, no libraries, everything vanilla, pure and perfect. Maybe. But the point is, there's a special reason why I'm doing it that way because in my mind, it's the best way to learn. Now sure, frameworks and libraries are great. Fantastic, right? But you'd be surprised about what you're able to do using a vanilla JavaScript. And the best thing about it is your code's gonna be quick. It's gonna be simple and fast, hopefully. So my advice, do your next project using vanilla JavaScript and you might be surprised about how good it actually is. Point number two, read the documentation. Yes, I know, sounds boring. But trust me, let's have a quick look at an example from the Mozilla Developer Network. Yeah, nah, just browsing here, reading about constants. Oh yeah, not too bad, mate. And hold on a second, what's this? For a weight of... Now tell me, how many of you guys have heard of for a weight of? Exactly. Guys, the documentation is a ridiculously powerful resource and I've learned so many things from it. So give it a read and hopefully you're going to be thinking of solutions that the next guy wouldn't have even thought to think of. Number three, don't copy and paste code from the internet. Point number four, do your projects again. Yep, you heard me correctly. Do your projects again. That's right. So if you're doing some sort of, you know, tic-tac-toe or some fancy file upload menu, do it again. Just start from scratch and do it again. And here's why. Number one, you're probably going to take a lot less time because you already know what you need to do. And number two, there's a good chance you're going to learn from your mistakes. Because when you're building something, there's a lot of stuff going on inside your head. You're probably thinking of the best way to do something or even the actual business requirements for your project. And when this happens, you might take shortcuts. We've all taken shortcuts, mate. You know, I've taken shortcuts. The next guy's taken shortcuts. Mate, the guy over there is taking shortcuts. But because we've taken shortcuts, we've missed so many opportunities to refactor the code or make it better. So your code might be messy, it might be not as maintainable as it could be, it might be inefficient. So all of these things might be a result of you taking shortcuts because you're thinking too much about the project itself and the big picture as opposed to the finer technical details. And my camera died, that's okay. All right. So if you do your project again from scratch, you're going to be focusing less on the stuff you were worrying about the first time around. And instead, you might be focusing more on the quality of your code and that quality can be taken to your next project. And that is all for today's video, guys. Like I said, I kept it short and simple, and all of these three things genuinely helped me in my career as I progressed and learned more about web development. So just to recap here, number one, do your projects in vanilla JavaScript. Number two, read the documentation. Number three, don't copy and paste your code from the internet. And number four, do your projects again. If you liked today's video, drop a like. I will definitely appreciate it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.